what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and hit the notify button where we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content all right let's jump into it guys so i just got back from the dealership and they literally had uh two tacomas on the lot and they were not four by four so they were two wheel drive sr5s and they were the only two on the lot and uh, people have been taking delivery of their 2024. So we haven't got any here yet in my neck of the woods. So I just hit my local dealership up to see if they had anything and they hadn't got anything yet. I had actually checked on their website the other day and they said that they had one, but it must be in transit. And it was an SR5 and it was gonna be in Celestial Silver and it was around $45,000. It was an SR5 and it had like basically the heated seat package on there. Um, it had the 8 inch screen so no big 14 inch screen so you know people are taking these trucks in and they're very very happy with them as usual you know it's kind of like the same thing i'm still seeing people picking up these third gens you know they're still picking up third gens brand new you know there are a few out there at some of these dealerships so people are still still picking these up as well and they're still happy as ever as usual but the people picking up the new ones are happy and i've been looking at them and i think they look good you know i think they definitely look good you guys know i just got into these trucks for like the last couple of years i've been you know been in love with these trucks so um i'm just new to the tacoma so you know with the new truck coming out of course you know typically a person would like that if they just kind of got into these tacomas and you know unless you're just like a diehard and you know you just gotta have a third gen and you're just like i'm not gonna do the whole turbocharged thing and i get it i understand um because these trucks are so awesome looking i'm just i just love my truck i've been been really wanting to drive it since i put the new tires on and everything and haven't really had too much time with it but um i'm really happy with these tires i definitely think these tires uh, make it look better the white letters they're cool you know they're growing on me or whatever i think you know it does the trick for now you know it, it does the trick for now so uh, if I switch them around, I'll probably switch them around maybe on the on the next rotation or something like that. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But so far, they've grown on me and, and it works. It works for me. I'm not going to complain about them. But uh, yeah, so people are taking in these new ones, guys. So I can't wait to really test drive one. It's what I really want to do. I really want to get behind the wheel and just see how it is. Because, you know, 50 more pound feet of torque. You're going to get a smaller uh, gas tank. Uh, you should get a little bit, maybe one mile per gallon better, you know, better fuel mileage. They've got the fuel mileage on there. And I'm not sure. I think it was, I think they're still saying like 21. It's 20, 20 to 21 on the, uh, on that uh, miles per gallon. Sorry. But yeah, so they're taking them in and uh, yeah, people are happy with them. So we'll see. We'll see how, how all that goes, you know. I'm definitely happy with this baby right here. So I figured I'd get out here and get some different scenery for us. You know what I'm saying? I figured this is like the highest point probably in Salem. So we'll just kind of check it out and see exactly. We're like downtown. I wanted to get a little bit different scenery for you guys. So like we don't really have big tall buildings, but it actually kind of looks, it kind of looks kind of big. It looks like we got big tall buildings here when you're over here. But no, we don't. So like the biggest building, the tallest building we have right there, I'm gonna zoom in for you, is the Capitol. So we are in Salem. Not Capitol Toyota, but we are in the Capitol. So yeah, back to the truck. My little town, he's proud of his town. He's proud of his town. If you could tell me what movie that's from. He's just proud of his city. I'll just help you out a little bit. The scene was, it was a cab driver and uh, he was taking them through the city instead of getting on the interstate. And they were like, why aren't you getting on the interstate? He said, all it is on the interstate is interstate. But uh, yeah, fourth gens, they are on the way guys. They're on the way. So I'm excited to see them. I'm excited to see them. I'm really um, excited to test drive one of them because yeah, that's what we're going to be seeing on the channel a lot. So hopefully, Lord willing. So, you know, just wanted to bring a little video to you guys today on that little update. But yeah, waiting to get those uh, 24s on the lot. We haven't uh, come across one yet out here in our neck of the woods, but hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. 
And if you guys are wondering what 265.75 will look like on your Tacoma, or at least on your Pro, this is what it's gonna look like. So far, I'm really enjoying these new tires. I will say I definitely can notice a little bit of the weight. You know, it was a big weight change with these tires. You know, there's a big weight difference between the factory 265-70 R16 and the 265-75 R16 with these KO2s. So it's definitely, you know, you notice it a little bit, but uh, just imagine, you know, if you want to know how it is driving with uh, 285s or anything bigger than that, and you're skeptical, and you really might not want to take that big of a dive, um, try this size first. You know, you could put this size on your stock Tacoma more than likely, even if you're not lifted, but don't quote me on that. But you should be able to because it's the same width. So, you know, the, the tire is the same width as your 265, 70 R16. So you're only gonna get 0.5 of a lift. So less than half of an inch on the lift. So yeah, you should still be good on your stock suspension and a TRD off-road or a sport or even an SR5 or SR. So all the trim levels should be able to, but don't quote me, should be able to do that. So yeah, just wanted to bring a little update video to you guys. So yeah, the new trucks are showing up and um, I'm excited. I can't wait till we get one out here like I've already mentioned and uh, test drive one and just you know, see what they're all about. See what that turbocharged four cylinder is all about. See if it can really get up and move. And I guess you can go ahead and put, you could put 33s on them from the factory. So that will be the good thing. You can just go ahead and throw some 33s on the 285s on there and not have to worry about rubbing. And then you could probably have to do just slight modifications to put some 35s on. And who knows how that's gonna work out too when you got, you know, that turbocharged you know engine but it does get 50 more pound feet of torque but uh yeah that's gonna kind of do it guys i just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that and let you guys know that's what we will be doing so we'll still get out here to some of these other dealerships i just checked my dealership here like i mentioned and uh yeah nothing going on over there nothing going on at all so we'll see we'll get out to another dealership and you know see if we can catch a couple more tacos of these third gens before they're all gone but Yep, that's basically it. They're all gone. So if you are looking to get a third gen, you might have to do uh, a nationwide search or reach out to multiple dealerships to try to, you know, locate one of these, especially if you're looking for a pro. You can probably find a pro, a used one with low miles because sometimes people just get tired of these trucks or not tired of them, but, you know, they try them out and they don't like them. But that's going to do it, guys. Have a good day and God bless. Peace.